Hey rock stars, Eric Andreas, your guitar sage here to play, to teach you how to play another Break in the Wall part two, okay? We did part one and the chords are the exact same for this. What I am going to teach, which I'll go over those real quick in just a minute here, but I'm, I am going to teach the main lick to this. This is the, the lick that David Gilmore does that's so cool in it, real funk type of uh, stratty guitar sound. Uh, obviously I'm not using a strat today, but um, so let me show you this. Um, it goes, um, so the, the chords are basically D minor, F, C, and D minor. We have a G in it, just like we did in part one. So, um, just kind of galloping on a D minor. Right, then we got F on all was C, just a brick in the D minor. F on all was all just bricks in the wall. Okay, so we got that part D, C, F, uh, D minor, C. F, and we also have a G thrown in there, okay? Again, on all these chords, you probably know them all. If you have any problems with the F chord here on YouTube, type in effing F chord, your guitar stage, I'll help you with that. Okay, so, um, the lick, the main lick. So, this is the main thing I wanted to show you in regards to this tune, and it is, it goes, um, let's see, uh, let's see, this is the, um, So I'll do that again. Basically, we're thumping along here. This is basically a D minor chord, but he's playing the top three strings. And he's doing this funk thing, okay? So what I want you to do here, in order to play this freely, this is called skank guitar, by the way. S-K-A-N-K, -K, that's not a joke. Skank guitar. Why skank? You tell me. Maybe some wah-wah, you know? I don't know. Uh, skank guitar, that's what it's called. And so it's this flanky kind of funky high notes, um, a lot of repetitive 16th notes and mutes. Okay, really cool technique. So I'm gonna show that to you today on this tune. So what we're doing is we're playing the triad, the minor triad up here from our large D minor uh, bar chord, right? So we're just playing those three notes there, and we're doing this thing where basically, whenever we want the chord played, we fret them. We fret the notes and we press them down to the frets. We press the strings down to the frets, and then the, the, the chord sounds. If we don't want it to sound, then we just slightly lift our fingers up off of the frets, but keep them on the strings still. If you don't keep them on the strings, you'll get this sound. just weird okay we don't want to do that so we're at the fifth fret here first fingers on the fifth fret the first string second fingers on the on the um, sixth fret of the second string third fingers on the seventh fret of the third string and that's our form okay and so what I'm doing here also is I'm taking this finger and kind of bumping it a little bit into the fourth string this will take a little getting used to and then when you're strumming, obviously your goal is to just hit those top three strings. It takes a little getting used to. But if you mute that fourth string, if you bump it by mistake with your pick, if you hit it, you're not gonna have that awful D. Well, it's not awful, it's part of the chord, but you won't have that one note that's kind of sticking out, okay? So, and what we're gonna do is we're going to play 16th notes, emphasizing the one. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, and that's sped up. This will take some time for you to get this, okay? Nothing that is worth anything 
of value just comes real easily, okay? It takes a little bit of work, but you can do this. Anybody can do this with practice, okay? So that's what you're counting. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. And you're gonna speed it up. Once you get that vibe down with your right hand or your, your strumming hand, then bring this chord in it and go. And that's without any sort of muting. But if we do this muting like, You know this song probably better than I do. Probably not, because I've played this album a gazillion times. But you probably know this song really, really well, and so you know the rhythms. We're not gonna notate them here today. It's So notice I press down on the strings whenever I want them heard, and I lift my fingers up whenever I don't want them heard, okay? And then, for this next chord, which is a G, essentially, we're playing this G form that we're getting from the C, sliding it all the way up to the G. This is a G note right here. But we're just playing those three notes right there, that little triangle there that's borrowed from this D form, sliding it up to the G. If you know the caged system, this form will make sense to you, right? It's the C form of the G chord. You don't have to know that information to play this lick. If I'm losing you, don't worry about it. Ignore me. For those of you that want to know more about where I came up with this and knowing this form, here on YouTube, type in Caged, C-A-G-E-D, your guitar sage. And I'll teach you a system that will help you master chords all over the neck. Seriously, it's awesome. You gotta know it. Okay, so that form is our C form of the G chord. And so, for this part, he's just playing those three notes. Again, I've got my first finger bumped up into my fourth string there so that I can flank away here. And this time, no mutes. He's just going. Okay, that's all he's doing. So it's like. Or, So we got that, and then the next part goes, this is all on those top three strings there. Don't, don't try to do anything, any other strings. It's just those three. And then we got, it goes back down here again. One little bit. Okay, that last note sounds kind of weird, but that's what, it, that's what he plays. It's a, it's a, a note that's not accented, so if you listen very carefully, that's what David Gilmore does. He just kind of open, hits those notes open, and then the next chord is the emphasis chord, and um, it sounds great. It resolves it, if you will. The guitar is very forgiving if you do that. Uh, some amount of harmony in there, and which is done a lot in rock and roll. Okay, so we got... So let me show you that part again. So we got, we went over that chord, we went over this chord, we came back down for this. We just go. Okay, that's all we do. And then up here, this is 10, 10, 10. This is 9, 8, 8. And I'm playing that by barring strings one and two, and then taking my second finger and playing the third string. And then this form again. And then open. So. Okay. You know, so here it goes all together.
enough, right? Okay, so easy enough to teach. It's going to take a little bit of time for you to get this. There's a lot of little techniques happening. That's the way guitar is. Sometimes it can be confusing, especially if you're expecting too much from yourself in one fell swoop. Here's how to think about guitar. Expect much of yourself in the long term, but in the short term, expect less and practice more. Okay? Don't fall into the trap of expecting so much of yourself and not doing the practice. This is, the, this is what's wrong with a lot of guitar players today is they think that it's just going to come easy like flipping on their computer. It doesn't. It takes time and energy and practice, but by golly, you can do it. Anything you see any guitar player do, you can do. I am living proof of that, but you have to practice. You've got to be willing to put in the study. You've got to be willing to put in the practice. You can do it. Okay, with that being said, how do you get this information? It's a ton of places, obviously the internet, a personal guitar teacher like I do here in Nashville. Um, online, I have a ton of free resources, obviously several hundred videos here on YouTube. But if you want to learn the inner workings of how to play the guitar, check out the links below, unstoppableguitarsystem.com. Um, hit me up at Facebook and Twitter. I've got a ton of free resources for you out there. I've got free books. Follow me. Um, email list at yourguitarstage.com, get the free ebook there. Tons of free stuff for you to learn how to play guitar, okay? Um, anything else? I don't know. Anything else? Anybody? I don't know. There's no one standing around here. Um, I'm Eric Andreas, Your Guitar Stage. Please spay and neuter and listen to more Pink Floyd's. See ya.